<clears throat> I've already loosened up the side cover bolts. I'm going to go ahead and remove the side cover on the passenger side. Now I have all the nuts, flat washers, and lock washers off the side cover. Next is to remove this center plastic, rubber, whatever it is plug. Pretty easy, just stick a screwdriver on the side, tap it with a hammer, and pry it out. Alright, to remove the plug, just take a screwdriver, stick it in the side, drive it in with a hammer, pop it out. Make sure you set that aside, try not to damage it too much when you're removing it. I'll go ahead and dry this up a little bit so I can see it better. Alright, it's kind of hard to see, this is just my iPhone's video, so... There is a snap ring around that shaft. It's kind of tricky to get off. Just take some snap ring pliers. I like to come from the inside angle like this. Pry it open a little. And then get a screwdriver up underneath and get it started walking off. You're going to want to cover up your whole work area here with a rag though when you go to pop the ring off because it will go flying across the room. Alright, after the cut I should have the ring off. Right, I've got the snap ring off. That is what was a pain to get off. From here, if your output CV plate, I'm not sure the technical term, doesn't slide right off, just tap gently on the shaft on the inside with the punch. Should slide right off. Alright, next is to tap the cover off. There's a little some lips on the top and bottom. One down here on the bottom, one up here. Just give it a light tap. It's an aluminum cover, so don't hit too hard. Alright, I just broke mine loose. Oh, some oil's gonna come out. Alright. This is the input shaft. It runs from the rear of the transaxle all the way up to this gear. What you wanna do is there's a snap ring right here. You wanna remove this loosen the snap ring and slide it back to about here, that's where I like to put it. This gear will slide back on the shaft of the input shaft. And then the input shaft will unscrew from the shaft that runs further back the transaxle. Alright, if your snap ring isn't where you can't get to it, just rotate the input shaft and so you can see the ears of the snap ring. You want to just grab the snap ring, opening it up and up, and sliding it all the way down. Alright, now I've got the snap ring loose and I slid it all the way down here. Now I'm just going to slide this gear back. When you slide the gear back, you'll see that there's a split in the input shaft. That's where it unthreads. A little trick to unscrew in the shaft is to push up on the CV axle up to the right. This will relieve some of the gear, the pressure from the gear, the ring gear, because it actually hits this gear that slips onto the input shaft. Next thing to do is get the snap ring pliers on the snap ring again, spread it, and then pull the input shaft out. Alright, I've already removed the input shaft and removed that gear. Put it back in just for illustration to show you. The input shaft just unscrews right there. Let's give it some a few good turns. Now the input shaft is free. And it just slides right out. That's all there is to it. Alright, well you've seen the video on how to remove the input shaft from a Type 1 68-72 Volkswagen transaxle. Thanks for watching my video. You can check out my other videos for uh, how to reinstall the input shaft. Thanks. Bye.